Hey, weirdos. Um, thought I'd share something with you. I just got off the phone uh, doing an in- <clears throat> excuse me doing an interview with another podcaster. Uh, the podcast's uh, name, by the way, is Let's Talk Treks, like Star Trek. Uh, Jeffrey is the host over there, and uh, we just had a great conversation. And as soon as that episode comes out um, with my, my interview, I'll let y'all know about it. But it's interesting during the conversation, something occurred to me. I had an epiphany that it, I don't know why it had never occurred to me before. He asked me about my own personal paranormal experiences. And if you listen to my show, you know, at all, you know that I've only had that one experience, which was a sleep paralysis experience, which uh, I won't get into too much now because I've, I've talked about it numerous times. But it, it's what convinced me that uh, sleep paralysis, at least in, in some cases, definitely has a demonic element to it. I, I knew that I had that episode, <clears throat> excuse me, I knew that I had that episode shortly after I started doing Weird Darkness, uh, a couple of years in, I think, of doing Weird Darkness, this is what this when it happened to me. I had never had a paranormal experience before then, uh, so at first I thought, okay, well, maybe I've opened myself up, you know from telling all of these stories, maybe I've opened myself up to the paranormal in some way, but something occurred to me in our conversation today. I, I, I heard it coming out of my mouth. I'd never said it before, but it makes too much sense. That happened shortly after I started becoming more vocal about my faith in the, in the podcast. Now I've always done the Bible uh, verse at the end of, of each show. Uh, you know, now that we're coming out of the dark, I'll, I'll leave you with a little light and then I give you the Bible verse and then I follow that up with a, uh, an inspirational quote of some kind. Um, but I never really put it together that it was about that time when I started doing the Chamber of Comments and the Fireside Frights where I was more open about my faith, about my, my belief in Jesus and the power of his name and the spiritual warfare and everything else, that is when I had the sleep paralysis demonic uh, encounter. And it makes me wonder if that was because Satan, the enemy, was trying to discourage me from continuing to do what I was doing. Either stop doing Weird Darkness entirely or at least back off and not be so open about my faith. Just made me wonder. Because it had never occurred to me before. I'd always known that it happened after I started Weird Darkness. But it was today, in that com- during that conversation with Jeff, that I thought, wow, that happened after I started being a bit more bold in what I believe. That just convinces me that much more that the sleep paralysis, at least on my end, definitely had a demonic influence. Wow. Just thought I'd share. Uh, once again, once that uh, podcast comes out, it's called Let's Talk Treks. Or Let's Talk About Treks is what it's called. Um, but once it, it's, it's actually on YouTube right now. It's not a podcast yet, but uh, he and I are going to work together. Uh, we're going to get him uh, podcasting as well. I think, he'd, I think he'd do well with it. He's got a broadcasting background, so he, he'll do a good job. But once it's available on YouTube, he'll send me the link and then I'll share it with you so you can see the entire interview. Thanks a lot, weirdos. Hope you're having a great day.